Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the weapons of hot dogs, horseshoes and hand grenades. Today we're going to take a look at a unique weapon. This is a one of a kind at the time of recording. It was added a few months ago at Christmas. Meatmas, my mistake. And it's this uh, tube. It's the M224 mortar. So, the M224 mortar. It uh, was uh, brought in. During uh, the Vietnam era, the Vietnam War for uh, the United States. And uh, it was meant to uh, replace the M2, I believe M2, 60mm mortar from World War II or in service with the US forces at the time. So, the US forces, they want something new and improved with uh, better ammunition. And uh, it's the M224 mortar. It uh, is a close support weapon, it's a mortar. With old ammunition, I believe it has a range of 1800 meters. So, old ammunition, the M2 uh, ammunition, 60 millimeter mortar rounds. This also takes the same ammunition if it wants, but it also has new and improved ammunition, which brings the range up to like 3000 meters. Still quite a distance, but still c relatively close support for artillery. And uh, it's just a tube meant to go pew. So uh, we're gonna take a look at this thing. So I don't really have any stand or anything, so I am going to go down onto the ground. And uh, we'll uh, be doing this as a mortar team. So, control-wise, you have uh, elevation, which adjusts range. You have this little dial here, which uh, says the range. And you have a zero and a one. So you have two rounds of ammunition. I believe this is zero and this is one. This has extra propellant charges, so it goes extra far. You can, of course, adjust rotation. And uh, this has free fire modes, essentially. You have safe. That's what it says on the team. Nothing. You have uh, trigger fire. So if we take a look down here, that's the trigger. And uh, you have uh, drop fire, which basically, if you uh, drop it in, it immediately goes boom. I'm not sure what it is on right now. Like that. It immediately goes boom. Haven't tamed or anything, so uh, uh yeah, let's wait uh, till that lands. Any moment now. I heard it land, but I didn't see it. So let's uh, head up back here. Get a rangefinder. And uh, let's uh, start with some uh, firing. Let's pop this to manual at first. So let's see. That's about 100 meters away. Does it have a range for 100 meters? Oh, so it should be about there. We need to use uh, with one charge. Pop in the round. Fire. Is it on safe? Fire. Yeah, it was on safe. And then now we just need to wait half an hour for it to land. So there's no trail or anything, it's just a simple... You pop it in, there's an explosive charge. You can see the firing pin. Oh, perfect. And uh, it goes boom. Let's take a look at our new target. So that went boom. New target. 250 meters away. 200. I'm going with 200. Uh, let's start, take the rear target, actually. Which I believe was about 300. And uh, let's do a heavy charge. Let's switch to fire mode. Fire the hole. Do I have it on the right five minute now? No, I don't. Well, time to see how accurate that was. Of course, you're not gonna fire this fast in real life, since it's quite a lot of effort. Ooh!
Beautiful. And let, let's bombard that set of buildings over there. And let's say 250 meters. Let's use... Let's see. 200... About there. Let's use a single charge. Or uh, no extra charge, rather. There we go. Okay, I do think I fired a bit too far. Let's try this. 230 meters. That's uh, about there. Bring in the range a bit. Let's fire a ranging shot. And we wait. Let's fire a far shot for, for uh, shits and giggles. Okay, we need to adjust. Fire a bit more. Uh, adjust range a bit. And fire. I think that was a bit closer, but I'm not quite sure yet. Hey, there you can see that far shot. Okay, a bit more. And uh, let's uh, fire for effect. The hell did I just do? <laughs> l l let me try something. I, I think I accidentally... Yeah, I was going too fast. So of course that is a fear with mortars. Uh, once it's fired, it's live. So, y you've probably seen videos of like, shells going short and people just like, panicking. Well, good reason. Shit hurts. What I really would like is a proper mortar range. Like, this is a good map, but something like with like 3000 meters range where we can probably. Go in. But like I was saying, where we could probably use the mortar. We can also essentially move this mortar to a more direct fire roll. If we want. So let's go ahead and do that. Losing tracking because I'm a bit too low. Hello, thank you. Let's uh, use the extra charge. Let's move up front. Okay, that was too high. Oh. Come on. Let's stand a bit different position so that hopefully, well, sit rather, we don't lose tracking. Let's fire. I saw that miss. Ooh. Shut up, you. Let's do a bit more to the right. There we go. Blink and you'll miss it. 
But anyways, that's the M224 60mm mortar. So I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.